Welcome to Roctagon Elite Six. Next up is Jacob Rathwell versus Doug Christie. Doug Christie, two and three in the black trunks with the red print. Jacob Rathwell in the white trunks with the black trim. He brings a one and three record in, so both these fighters looking to get back to their winning ways. Yeah, the bite, the height difference, body types. Rathwell has got a, probably a six, six inch reach advantage. Um, wants to stay away, but there is no such thing right. as a reach advantage on the he mat. Was, so. He was sort of, okay, he got out of a, a tight guillotine right off the bat, and he's going to set up a, oh uh, boy, what are we going for? we got a knee bar option. In the amateur level, you're not allowed to do torquing. Yeah. Torquing. Um, cannot heel hook, cannot, yeah, cannot go, heel yeah. hook. Which would have been, a, he was in the perfect situation to do those. Unfortunately, he can't. Yes, he was. And, so Rathwell gets Christie back up. Christie kept the pressure on him. He did not want to let him up. Caught Christie with a little bit with a leg kick earlier, but has not gone back to it. Now a couple like knees. Side knees right to the belly. Last time I saw him inside the cage, he was much more aggressive attacking. That was a classic single leg. On a big yeah, slam he there. Did a great job of uh, not letting Rothwell wrap his legs around to get into chokes. This reversal might have just won him the round. It's a great oh reversal there. We're up against it only Whoa, a couple a seconds. Double up reversal. And, uh, great action at the end of that first round. Nobody did too much damage on the feet. I don't even know how the hell I would have graded that one. But that's why you don't want to let it go to the judges because you never know which way it'll go as Doug Christie runs right into a kick and into a takedown. I did feel that. It did have to hurt his body, his shoulder, and that was a hard crack. So now Christie working into the guard of Rathwell, trying to posture up and drop a couple blows down on him. And Rathwell's using a good job of, uh, he's trying to climb his guard up higher on his back. A for, nice left hand from Christie. Score, score the card, uh, improving your positions, even from going from. Uh, now he's onto a full 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 mount, and uh, it's a very dominant position. Both these guys have gone the distance plenty of times before. They have the conditioning to do so. Doug Christie, now dropping a couple shots on Rathwell, but nothing too devastating. He's making Rathwell really work hard to uh, one keep close to him, and two try to get a reversal. And uh, ten he seconds left in the round. Ten seconds. Christie's up under the chin. He's, yeah, I don't think he's gonna get it. I don't think he's gonna get it. And I uh, guarantee he's happy that there was only 10 seconds. Heading into the third and final round of this 170 pound amateur Roctagon MMA division fight. Doug Christie two and three in the black trunks. Jacob Rathwell one and three in the white trunks. The first round extremely close. I think the second round almost assuredly went to Doug Christie. Both these guys gonna have to try to finish this thing though if they wanna oh, make sure they win this so fight. So slippery with the sweat. He's, uh, he's definitely going for his guillotine, and uh, being so late in the rounds, I think he's lost his opportunity. He's definitely going to be uh, slippery, and things are going to be hard. If I was Christie, I'm going to keep the pressure on and make sure that uh, he stays on top, which I think he's definitely going to do here. He's got to try to get this into a stalemate and get the fight stood back up or get out from underneath him, which seems easier said than done because Christie's been able to control the action. And there you go. Victor Ventresca is going to stand him up. Wow, you're a mind reader. Great sportsmanship here uh, by both guys. They're both exhausted. They're both sweaty. Um, Rothwell's got to pick up his pace, but he can't afford to get taken down like this. And I think he's got to give up. You know, I'm going to eat crow here. That's a tight. He's got it hooked in there. He's getting ready. He's to run to the back and there's the tap. Yeah. Rothwell. Your winner by tap out, due to a guillotine choke from Sandusky, Ohio, the Riot. This has been Major Combat Sports and Roctagon Elite 6. Your favorite fight channel is now on Web Enabled TV.